Trojan Torches Cooking with Cami is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Welcome to Cooking with Cami, the show where you watch me cook and pretend you're going to make this recipe later. Today we're making brownies. This is my own recipe and whether you have a girl to impress, your mom to impress, some friends that you just want to, you know, bring a brownie to, having a bad day, brownie it away. Right guys? Right? You will need one stick of butter, half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar, and then two extra tablespoons of white sugar. Half a cup of flour, half a cup of cocoa powder, a pinch of salt, two eggs, chocolate chips, and an extra tablespoon of any kind of vegetable oil. Wait, wait, you have to say that you're gonna melt the butter. Like it has to be I'm... a <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna melt the butter. <laughs> melt this butter, melt it. <laughs> so while you're melting your butter, you can go ahead and uh, put one tablespoon of a vegetable oil. I'm using olive oil, it's my favorite. Put it in your bowl. Throw it in there. Get crazy. I would just like to thank my studio audience for being here. Studio audience. Butter is melted. <laughs> so you've also got your two types of sugar in there. We use both kinds of sugar because brown sugar has molasses and it makes it fudgy, add your butter, and white sugar kind of caramelizes differently and makes the crisp edges. And then you whisk it. You whisk it until it's very well combined. It looks kind of disgusting at this point. Then you take your two eggs, uh -huh, you crack them, then you add them both in, same time, whatever. It's no biggie. Throw them in the trash! Once you've added your eggs, just start whisking, and uh, you're gonna wanna whisk this pretty hard. And you're gonna whisk it until the whole mixture is significantly lighter in color. Whenever this gets lighter in color, that means that you're adding bubbles to the eggs. When you aerate the batter, that's what makes the crinkly top to the brownies, and that's what everyone likes. So this is something called Dutch Process Cocoa. The typical cocoa powder that you see in stores, like your Hershey's, your Ghirardelli, that is natural process. And the difference between the two is that Dutch process cocoa has less starch incorporated into it. And so this means that when you add it to your baked goods, it keeps it moister in, in the end result. It's a lot darker and it has a lot richer chocolate flavor. And I want my studio audience to smell it. Because <laughs> there is a difference. There's a big difference in quality. Ooh. That's rich. This is a sieve. Um, we're using this to put in our dry ingredients because it'll get out any clumps and it will make it mix in a lot faster. So we are putting in half a cup each of our Dutch processed cocoa and our flour. And I know what you're thinking. I know it. This is one thick batter. And you are absolutely right. But the brownies are going to be dense. They're going to be fudgy. You're going to love them. So when you get down to the nitty gritty that stays there at the bottom, you can just keep shaking and usually it'll go away. Now you're gonna take a spatula and fold this all together. You don't have to be too gentle with it. Now that's a dense batter. Amounts of chocolate chips really can depend on you. Do you like a lot of chocolate chips? Do you like a little bit? I only like a few, you know? So I'm gonna go with half a cup. That feels right to me today. I feel half a cup. Uh, you're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. You know, I, I approximate it. Just a little spoon. That's about a teaspoon. Uh, and a pinch of salt. When you are baking something, especially something like brownies, it'll get stuck to the pan. And one thing that I have learned to do that completely eliminates that problem is to line every dish I bake with with parchment paper. You can cut it just to the bottom or you can even make it come up the sides. Oh my God. But the point is try to cover as much of it with parchment paper as you can so it doesn't stick. That's a dense batter. And that's gonna make a dense brownie. And that's what we like. If you like cakey brownies, this recipe isn't for you. And you need to stop making brownies. Go make a cake. Use a smaller pan. 
say that? Can I admit my mistakes? Use a smaller pan. This one's way too big. Beep, boop, beep, beep, boop. Preheat your oven to 350 Fahrenheit degrees. So put these in. Your oven's at 350. So for this one, I'm gonna do about a boop, 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 <laughs> 35. <laughs> so uh, open the oven and get your brownies, which are now beautifully baked. Wow, current. You're gonna want to wait at least 20 minutes for your brownies to cool before you start to try to cut them. Otherwise, they're gonna be a mushy mess. No one likes a mushy mess. So once they're cool, take a butter knife and use short sawing motions. Look at that, that's a clean knife. How often do you see a clean knife when you're cutting brownies? That, that's what we do here on Cooking with Cami. We're all about doing things the better way. Messed up. <laughs> Look at that density. And now it's time for tasting with Taylor. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Taylor, and welcome to Tasting with Taylor. Today we're tasting brownies. That's a good brownie. 